Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to Remember When, February, February 10th, 2024. The hot dog is a, a quintessential American street food, has a fascinating and flavorful history that stretches back over the century. From its humble beginnings as a working class snack to its status as a beloved culinary icon, <clears throat> the hot dog has woven itself into the fabric of American culture. Let's take a journey through time and explore the origins, evolution, and cultural significance of this beloved sausage in a bun. Origins a German heritage. <clears throat> the origins of the hot dog can be traced back to Europe, particularly to Germany, where sausages have been a staple food for centuries. The precursor to the modern hot dog is believed to be the Frankfurter, a type of sausage named after the city of Frankfurt in Germany. These sausages were traditionally made from a mixture of pork, beef, or veal, seasoned with spices such as salt, pepper, and paprika, and encased in a natural casing. German immigrants brought their loved sauce their love of sausages with them when they immigrated to the United States in the 19th century, particularly to cities like New York, Chicago, and Milwaukee. It was in these urban centers that the hot dog, as we know it today, began to take shape, blending German culinary traditions with American innovation. Coney Island and the birth of the hot dog stand one of the most significant milestones in history of the hot dog in the United States was its introduction at Coney Island, New York. Coney Island, a bustling seaside resort in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, attracted throngs of visitors looking for entertainment, amusement rides, and of course, food. It was here in the late 1800s that a German immigrant named Charles Feltman is credited with popularizing the hot dog as a convenient and portable snack. Feltman, a baker by trade, began selling hot sausages in a bun from a pushcart on the bustling boardwalk of Coney Island. His invention, initially known as the Coney Island Red Hot, quickly gained popularity among beachgoers and became a staple of the American diet. The role of Nathan's famous <laughs> While Charles Feltman may have introduced the hot dog to Coney Island, it was another entrepreneur who would elevate it to iconic status. Nathan Handworker, a Polish immigrant, worked for Feltman before striking out on his own and opening Nathan's Famous in 1916, just a few blocks away from his former employer's stand. Nathan's Famous quickly became synonymous with the quintessential hot dog experience. Handworker's decision to undercut Feltman's prices and sell his hot dog for just five cents each made Nathan's famous a hit with the working class patrons of Coney Island. Over time, Nathan's famous grew into a national institution with its annual 4th of July hot dog eating contest becoming a beloved tradition. <clears throat> While New York may lay claim to the birthplace of the hot dog in the United States, Chicago has carved out its own niche in hot dog history. The Chicago style hot dog with its distinctive toppings and, and flavors is a testament to the city's culinary creativity and ingenuity. A true Chicago style hot dog starts with an all beef frankfurter served in a poppy seed bun. From there, it's topped with mustard, chopped onions, bright green relish, tomato slices, a pickle spear, 
sports it, peppers, and a dash of celery salt. The sympathy, sympathy of flavors and textures is a testament to Chicago's rich culinary heritage and diverse immigrant populations. The hot dog in American culture. Beyond its culinary significance, the hot dog holds a special place in American culture and folklore. From baseball games to backyard barbecues, the, the hot dog is a ubiquitous presence at gatherings and events across the country. Its portable, affordable, and nostalgic appeal make it a perennial favorite among Americans of all ages. The hot dog has also left its mark on the lexicon of American English. Phrases like hot dog to express enthusiasm and excitement or hot dogging to describe showboating or grandstanding are just a few examples of how the hot dog has permeated popular culture. Over the years, the hot dog has undergone countless innovations and variations, reflecting the diverse tastes and preferences of American consumers, from vegan and vegetarian options to gourmet top and toppings and artisanal sausages, the hot dog has evolved far beyond its humble origins. Regional variations abound, with cities and states putting their own unique spin on the classic hot dog recipe. Whether it's a spicy chili dog of the American South, a sauerkraut laden dogs of the north, Northeast, or the bacon wrapped Sonoran hot dog of the Southwest. There is a hot dog for every palate and preferences. Despite its enduring popularity, the hot dog has not been without its share of controversies. Concerns about the health risks associated with processed meats as well as issues surrounding animal welfare and environmental sustainability have prompted some consumers to rethink their relationship with the hot dog. In recent years, efforts to promote healthier and more sustainable alternatives to the traditional hot dog have gained traction, with plant-based options becoming increasingly prevalent in supermarkets and restaurants. These innovations reflect a growing awareness of the impact of food choices on per personal health and environment. In conclusion, the hot dog occupies a unique place in American culinary history, serving as a symbol of the innovation, diversity, and cultural exchange. From its humble beginnings on the streets of Coney Island to its status as a global culinary phenomenon, the hot dog continues to captivate the hearts and taste buds of millions of people around the world. As we look into the future, the hot dog is poised to remain a timeless classic, adapting to changes, tastes, and preferences while staying true to its roots. Rather enjoyed at a baseball game, a backyard barbecue, or a street food festival, the hot dog will continue to bring people together one delicious bite at a time. Welcome to Remember When. <clears throat> This is a continuation of the story of uh, the making of Route 66. Uh, Thomas began to formulate a plan. He envisioned a single continuous road that would stretch from the bustling streets of Chicago to the sun-drenched beaches of California, a road that would link the heartland of America to the bustling ports of the West Coast creating new opportunities for trade, travel, and commerce along the way. Thomas knew that such a monumental undertaking would not be easy. It would require the cooperation of countless communities, the support of local governments, and the investment of significant resources. Undeterred by the magnitude of the task before him, Thomas set out to rally support for his ambitious plan. He began by traveling the length and breadth of the, of the country, meeting with mayors, governors, business leaders to pitch his vision for a modern highway system 
he spoke passionately about the economic benefits of improved transportation, the potential for increased tourism and commerce, and the importance of connecting America's heartland to its coasts. At first, Thomas's ideas were met with skepticism and resistance. Many saw little value in investing in new roads when existing ones seemed to suffice. Others questioned the wisdom of such a large scale project, fearing that it would be too costly and difficult to implement. But Thomas was undeterred. He knew that with patience, persistence, and perseverance, he could overcome any obstacle. Slowly but surely, Thomas began to gain traction for his plan. He formed alliances with like-minded individuals and organizations, building a coalition of supporters who shared his vision for a better, more connected America. Together, they lobbied Congress, petitioned state legislators, and worked tirelessly to drum up public support for their cause. Their efforts began to bear fruit. In 1921, Congress passed the Federal Aid Highway Act, providing funding for the construction of a national highway system. The following year, President Warren G. Harding signed the bill into law, laying the groundwork for the creation of Route 66. But Thomas knew that securing funding was the only was only the first step. The real work lay ahead. The painstaking progress of planning, designing, and building the highway itself. He assembled a team of engineers, architects, and construction workers, each one dedicated to the monumental task before them. Together, they set out to chart a course of the new highway, surveying the landscape, studying maps, and consulting with local communities to determine the best route. They encountered countless obstacles along the way, rugged terrain, impassable rivers, and hostile landowners, but they pressed on, determined to see their vision realized. As construction got underway, Thomas traveled the length of the highway overseeing the work and ensuring that it met his exacting standards. He was tireless in his dedication to the project, often working long into the night to resolve disputes, address challenges, and keep the project on track. But despite his best efforts, progress was slow. The construction of Route 66 was a massive undertaking requiring the excavation of millions of cubic yards of earth, the laying of thousands of tons of concrete and asphalt, and the construction of countless bridges, overpasses, and tunnels. It was a Herculean task that taxed the resources and ingenuity of all involved. Yet, slowly but surely, the highway began to take shape, mile by mile, it wound its way across American landscape, connecting towns and cities, farms and factories in a vast network of asphalt and concrete. And as it grew, so did the excitement and anticipation surrounding its completion. Finally, in 1926, after years of planning and construction, Route 66 was officially opened to the public it was a momentous occasion, celebrated with parties, parades, and fireworks from one end of the country to the other, and as the first cars and trucks began to roll down its newly paved lanes, Americans everywhere rejoiced in the realization of Thomas's dream, a modern highway that would link the nation together as never before. For Thomas, Route 66 was more than just a road. It was a symbol of American ingenuity and perseverance and can-do spirit. It was a testament to the power of vision, the importance of collaboration, and the belief that anything was possible if you were willing to work for it. 
And for Americans everywhere, Route 66 was a lifeline. A lifeline that connected them to new opportunities, new adventures, and new horizons. It was a road of dreams where, where the promise of a better tomorrow lay just over the next hill. And the spirit of the open road beckoned them forward. But perhaps the most important thing, Route 66, was a road of memories. A road of laughter and tears, of triumphs and setbacks, of, friends, of friendships forged and adventures shared. It was a road that would forever hold a special place in the hearts of all who traveled its storied path. A road that would live on in the annals of American history as a testament to the enduring power of an American dream.